Good choice. Let's get moving. And by the way, I've programmed your weapons so they can't penetrate my shields. Just a precaution, you understand? Impressive fight, boy. I guess I owe you one. Admiral Smith would have been proud of you. Yeah, I'm sure he would. He still owes me money for the last assignment. I was just on my way to see him before you found me. Hmm. Good luck trying to get money from a dead man. Dead? Yes, dead. Died of old age. Everyone's number comes up eventually. What? When did he die? Some years ago now. 3612, I think. 3612? That can't be. What year is it now? You're a strange one, all right. It's 3624 by the Terran calendar, and from the looks of things, it's going to be the Year of the Voids. Heath is stunned to discover 35 years have passed since the incident in the asteroid belt. Gunant checked Keith's ship, and a malfunction in the hyperdrive engine was most likely the cause for Keith's journey through time and space. He shows Keith his gratitude for defeating the pirates by giving him Betty as a gift. Now equipped with a more powerful drive, allowing him to travel to other planets within the same star system. As promised, Betty is yours. 
Take good care of her. Well, she needs a bit of work, that's for sure. Anyway, thanks for your help. Just one thing. The mining laser you've been using is a prototype I built myself. The only one of its kind. I can't give it to you, but I installed another one. With a little practice, you'll be able to make a few credits mining asteroids on your journey. Thanks, and you can call me Keith. Keith T. Maxwell. My pleasure, Keith. One more thing. A friend of mine, Norris Bernard, is the commander of Kernstal, also a station of the Medo Confederation. Why don't you pay him a visit? He might be able to help you get to Eden Prime. That's a good place to start. Thanks, Gunant. But what is this Medo Confederation exactly? This entire system is Medo territory. Perhaps you'd better ask Norris. He can tell you more about it. Good luck, boy. Uh, I mean, Keith. Keith T. Maxwell? I'm Captain Bernard, commander of Kernstahl. It's a pleasure to meet you. Gunan told me what happened. You must be pretty confused right now. You're not kidding. Jumping through time and space, that's something. Tell me about this Medo Confederation. I've never heard of it. Well, you have missed a lot in the past 35 years. The Medo system is located in a sector of the galaxy that has only recently been discovered. We retreated here at the beginning of the Nivellian Civil War when the Mido Confederation of Planets was founded. We tried to avoid contact with other systems as much as possible. So Mido is a confederation of Terran and Novellian rebels and outlaws founded during the Novellian Civil War? You could say that. We declared our independence, which the Terrans accepted, but the Novellians still claim Mido as their territory. That's why there are still conflicts in the outer reaches of the system. I see. Gunant told me you might be able to help me get back to Terran territory. I could arrange that, but in return, I'd like to ask you for a favor. Which is? It could be risky. We lost contact with Irdal Gadai, one of our space stations. They could just be having problems with their communication system, but we need someone to fly out there and check. So it could also be the Novellians, pirates or something else that's behind it, right? That's why we need someone who's willing to take the risk. An experienced fighter pilot like you. Just don't go getting into any pointless fights. I'm on my way.
Nobody here. Not even Novellians. Wait, I don't believe it. Muktbukt. What the hell are you doing in this godforsaken place? Have we met before? Ah, uh, Maxwell, is that you? Long time no see. You're just in time for our little party. I managed to ship in a load of premium neuroalgae from Apache. The crew here can't get enough of it. Algae, eh? Sounds interesting. Does this stuff have any unpleasant side effects? Not really. Some people have reported a bit of tentacle growth, but that's more of a benefit than a side effect. You mean tentacles on their face? Yeah. How did you know? Just a wild guess. But Keith, you've got to tell me why you still look so young. I know a lot of people who'd be interested in buying whatever it is you're using. You don't want to know. Tentacle growth is nothing compared to the side effects I'm having. Okay, Mucketbucked, I'll leave you with your new friends. See you around. Take care, and you know where to find me if you ever need something extra special. Brilliant. Out of all the rogues I could have run into, it had to be Mucketbucked the most notorious dealer in the galaxy. Neuroalgae. Hardly surprising no one's able to operate the intercom. Maxwell, good to see you again. What did you find out? Looks like the crew of Erdl Gadal is completely wasted, thanks to Mukatabukt. The dealer? Unbelievable. Is it serious? I'm sure they'll crawl their way back to normality eventually. But I suggest you take the crew to a detox center after they're back on their feet. Or maybe a fish tank. Now, can you help me get back to Terran territory? Yes, of course. A Terran military convoy is heading for Cairnstall. That would be your best option. Sounds good. I'll contact you as soon as the convoy reaches the system. In the meantime, feel free to make use of the space lounge. You can probably pick up some work there. A good way to pass the time and earn a few extra credits. And I think I'll go have a chat with our friend Mukt Bukt. I have something that might be of interest to you. Hello. Want to make a bet? 